Hey there, I'm Haley. I was born on a small island in New Zealand, the kind of place where everyone knows everyone. My family was a bit special because we were the lighthouse keepers. As a kid, I loved pretending I was Rapunzel in her tower. Little did I know, I'd start feeling as trapped as she did. Before I continue, please like and subscribe. My parents broke up soon after I was born, and mom left to follow her dreams and became a very successful actress. She was extremely busy and never got time to visit me. Sure, she'd send me amazing gifts, but dad basically raised me alone. And Oh boy, he wasn't fun. Dad was a very strict person, and also a local hero. Years ago, he was the first to spot a ship that hit the rocks on a stormy night, and he bravely coordinated a rescue mission. Ever since, he vowed to never leave his post at the lighthouse. And I mean never. We didn't go on vacations and would only visit the local market once a week for supplies. But that didn't stop me looking for an adventure. Like one day when I was five, we were at the market when I decided to sneak on a fishing boat about to leave port. Aye, aye, Captain. Ready to set sail. Who is this child? Of course, that made Dad furious. But can you blame me for wanting to go crab fishing instead of being in that tower? To be fair, it wasn't all bad. Dad and I enjoyed watching movies together, and moms were my favorite. I loved how glamorous she looked, and I wanted to be just like her one day. And growing up, that dream grew stronger. Sure, once school started, I had plenty of friends, and I liked this place, but I just wanted more. Dad, can I take acting classes? For the 100th time, we don't have any on the island. But maybe if we moved... That's out of the question. Our life is here. Well, maybe for him, but I couldn't accept that as my fate. Then, my opportunity opportunity came in the 10th grade. I was at school when I noticed a flyer on the bulletin board that said a famous acting program was looking for new talent in our area. Whoever got through the auditions would receive acting classes, and the person who performed the best would get a year-long role on a popular TV show. I didn't tell Dad anything, and on casting day, I skipped school and boarded the ferry for the mainland alone. The contest started, and I realized that being in front of the camera came to me naturally. I didn't tell anyone about my mom, though, so they wouldn't have higher expectations. That night, I tuned in for the results. Dad happened to walk by the TV just when my name showed up on screen. I'd passed the auditions round. Haley, I can't believe you went there alone. I'm sorry, but you would have never let me participate. Please, Dad, let me do this. He reluctantly agreed to let me continue, and I squealed as I hugged him tight. For the next six months, he went with me to the mainland for all classes. At the end of them, I was invited to a talk show where it would be revealed which TV show was about to hire me. As I was chatting with the host, suddenly, someone from the audience walked onto the stage. Well done, Haley. I knew you were going to make it. Everyone was silent, stunned to see the world-famous actress, but to me, it was just, Mom? Indeed. After all these years, we are reunited, love, and we'll get to work together on the new TV show. The audience gasped and cheered as Mom hugged me, and I was speechless. I had no idea she was a part of this. I walked backstage with Mom, where Dad was waiting. Nice to see you, Celia. It's been, what, 15 years? And now you're suddenly Haley's adoring mother, ready to take her away? Oh, if you're such a good father, don't stand in the way of her dreams. And can you just straighten your ugly tie? It's driving me crazy. Mom walked off while Dad looked upset. Dad, I know this is all very unexpected, but aren't you proud of me? Of course I am, love. I guess I'm just not ready for you to leave. He looked so sad, it broke my heart. Maybe I shouldn't go. No, she's right, Haley. You deserve to follow your dreams. You know where to find me. And two days later, I was all packed up and ready to go. After we landed at the airport, a limousine took us to Mom's house. Or should I say palace? Then, Mom showed me to my beautiful room, complete with a walk-in closet full of designer clothes and accessories. This feels like a dream. No, honey. It's your life now. Mom, I just don't understand one thing. Why didn't you ever visit me? Oh, sweetie. I wanted to so much, but there was never a good time. You don't know how hard it is to make it in this industry with no support or connections. I barely even had any money. I had to fight hard to get good roles and grab every opportunity. But now, you won't have to fight so hard because I'll make everything easier for you. I felt overwhelmed by her love and attention, and it was so cool to have the great Celia as my mom. But soon, I discovered mom was a bit strange. All her clothes and shoes had to be arranged by color, she would schedule every minute of her day and give our staff some crazy tasks like cleaning the ceiling. She wanted us to make public mother-daughter appearances in matching outfits, and the designers got an earful if they weren't identical. 
On my first day on set, I went alone, feeling super nervous. My first scene was with Jake, the gorgeous male lead. He was so distracting, I kept forgetting my lines. Cut. Ten minute break, everyone. Especially Haley. I felt so embarrassed. Can you even act at all? Excuse me? I'm just saying. There are plenty of talented girls who can take your spot. If you have nothing nice to say, you do have the option of staying quiet if you don't know how to act. You do have the option of leaving. What a jerk! I calmed down my nerves and delivered my lines perfectly in the next take. But after that, we were always trying to trip each other up. He made silly faces to distract me during scenes, so I slipped laxatives in his coffee that kept him running to the bathroom. He put cat poop in my shoes, so I put super glue on his seat. You get the gist, right? But one day, I found out it was the makeup artist's birthday, so I ordered a huge cake to surprise her. This was your idea? Yeah. Why? Did you put something in the cake? No, just wishing you ordered chocolate. Who likes pineapple cake? SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> But from then on, Jake started being nicer to me. We'd chat during lunch and rehearse our lines together, and the pranks stopped, mostly. <laughs> Working with mom, though, was not a piece of cake. She was a perfectionist and would make me redo scenes 20 times. I was eager to learn, so I didn't mind being pushed. But she was really hard on everyone. Like that time her assistant brought the wrong coffee? I told you, no sugar. And always put my coffee on a coaster. Plastic spoon on the left, napkin on the right. Ugh, did you even pass kindergarten? Or that time with the camera woman? Oh, you're getting all my wrong angles. Look, you're clearly not pretty enough to be in front of the camera, but now you're not even good behind it? Also, can you get your eyebrows done? One is like a thin worm and the other is like a fat caterpillar. And I hate uneven things. One day, I had a long scene with mom and she kept pointing out every tiny mistake. She wanted to discuss it more during break, but I just shut myself up in the bathroom, escaped through the window, and ran to Jake's trailer. Jake, let me in! Oh no, a crazy fan. Security! I'm gonna punch you in the face if you annoy me right now. Okay, Grumpy. What's going on? I told him how mom was tiring me out by being so demanding. Well, what were you expecting with your mom's reputation? What do you mean? Your mom is famous for being difficult to work with. No one likes her because of her bad attitude. I literally had to sign a contract that I wouldn't pick fights with her because I can't stand rude people. Hey, that's not really fair. Yes, mom can be hard to please, but that's because she's passionate about her work. We're all passionate about our work, but we don't act bratty. You have no idea what she went through. She started from nothing and struggled alone for years. Look, I just felt a bit frustrated, so I vented to you, but that doesn't mean you get to diss my mom. I was a about to storm off, but Jake stopped me. You're right, I'm sorry. You just came to vent. Maybe, since she's your mom, you can tell her to be less critical of you sometimes. Because I think you're pretty wonder- I mean, you're all right. For some reason, my heart fluttered as I walked off, but I didn't take Jake's advice and talk to mom. I understood this is who she was, and I just had to work hard to make her proud. Soon after, we got news about the ratings of our season. It was a huge success, and the studio wanted to sign us for season two. That's great, of course. We'll need you to double our paychecks if you want Haley to stay. You know we don't have that kind of money. Mom, isn't that double the paycheck or Haley walks? Fine, fine. And you two will be good to work through winter break? No, I have plans to visit my dad and... Yes, no problem. Plans can change. I felt mad as we walked out of the office. I promised dad I'd go see him. Haley, success requires many sacrifices. But sure, you can always go back to the life you had before. That made me quickly drop the argument because I couldn't imagine going back to my old town. When I told dad the news, he was sad, but understanding. The next day in a meeting, the director told us that Jake's character and mine were going to end up together in the second season. Ew. I'd rather kiss a frog. I'd rather kiss the frog's poop. Make sure to brush your teeth that day, Haley. I'll make sure to eat garlic instead. And here I was, hoping for something more romantic. I wasn't sure if he was joking, but just then, mom pulled me away. As we climbed into the car, she started lecturing me about not getting crushes on my co-stars, as if I could help it. Yeah, duh. I have a crush on Jake. That evening, I was in my room watching MSA videos when Jake called. Haley, are you watching the news? I turned on the TV and was shocked to see reports of a devastating hurricane that had swept over my island. I tried calling Dad, but the line was down. I was so worried. And finally, hours later, Dad called me back. I'm fine. Well, except for the torn ligament in my arm. I'll need surgery for it. And the lighthouse is damaged, and most of the town, too. Dad, you just focus on getting better before anything else, okay? I'll cover your medical bills. He tried to refuse, but I wasn't backing down. I had plenty saved from the first season of the show. But the next day, when I went to the bank to transfer money, my account was nearly empty. You and your mother have a joint account, and recently 
she transferred all the funds to her solo one. What the heck? When I asked her about it, she acted totally normal. I left some allowance and I buy everything you need. What else do you want? My money? I earned it. And dad was injured. He needs... Oh, I don't care about him. You're living here now and your lifestyle isn't cheap. But I care. And if money is an issue, we can move to a smaller house. No, our image would suffer. You mean your image? Do you even care about what I want? You wanted to be an actress, right? I made you so. So you're saying I have no talent? I was getting that TV show role without you, Mom. It's not enough to steal credit for everything. So you've stolen my money? I won't stay here another minute. Yes, you will, or your career is over. She'll go wherever she wants. I turned around to see Dad. Dad? What are you doing here? Just decided to make a surprise visit. I didn't have a good feeling when you showed up out of nowhere, Celia. But I didn't think you'd steal from your own daughter. Some things never change, I guess. What do you mean? Years ago, when I rescued those people from the sinking ship, the owner gave me a huge sum of money to thank me. And soon after, your mom asked me out. She, the most popular girl on the island, finally noticed me. I felt so lucky. But then, she used all my money to start her career, broke up with me, and left the moment her popularity rose. Why didn't you tell me all this before? Because I hoped she'd change and come back, and we could be a family. You really think I'd come back to the dumb, stinky village? You were always a fool. I guess I take after Dad, because I didn't see right away what a cold-hearted, selfish person you are, Mom. Dad and I left, and the next day, we were on the ferry back to the island. Seeing the lighthouse so battered brought tears to my eyes. I've been so blind. I was so obsessed with Mom, I couldn't see who she really was. But she was right about one thing, Haley. I've held you back, and I'm sorry. I've just always wanted to keep you safe, but I ended up making you feel trapped. From now on, I'll always support you, even if that means we have to move. Once you left, I realized my job isn't more important than you are. The next day, Dad made some calls and arranged a meeting with a lawyer. We managed to get my money back, and he had the surgery while the lighthouse was being repaired. I also used my popularity to raise funds for my town. For the first time, I realized how much the island and our community meant to me. Yes, I still wanted to act, but it wasn't a way to escape my old life anymore. I still had to figure out what to do about the second season. There was no way I was working with Mom anymore. One day, I was enjoying the sunset on the lighthouse balcony when I heard some Someone behind me. How many steps does this place have? You're wheezing like you're 80. What are you doing here? I talked with the producers and found some interesting stuff about your mother. Turns out, Mom's career hasn't been doing too well in recent years, and she had used me to get that role in the new show. The producer said they never wanted to hire her, but were forced to when she made that public announcement. Now that you left, they're more than happy to fire her. They want you back, Haley, and this time, you'll work on your own terms. Please come back, or they'll find another female lead. And you don't want that to happen? Yeah. What if they hire someone I want to kiss even less than I want to kiss you? <laughs> that would be terrible. Then I suppose I'll have to rescue you. You're my hero.